Hi Virgo, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported the channel, whether you're new, returning, any support you've given the channel, thank you so much for letting me do this for you and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of that. So very big thank you to everybody and it really does mean a lot to me. And also everyone, please check the description box below. All the information you need about me is down there, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please, please do go check that out. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, Virgo singles. Let's see what's coming towards some Virgos for November. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. Singles, who's coming towards you? When, where, how? What kind of connection will it be? What's your advice? And then we'll clarify with some tarot. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is get a couple possible signs. This incoming person for singles. Let's get a couple signs for Virgo. A couple signs, spirit please, for Virgo. And I think my candle went out. My candle went out. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, there we go. A little stale bit. All right, let's get a couple signs for Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo? Well, we got Venus and fire. Okay, so that's a lot of choices there. So Venus, I believe, is Libra and Taurus. And fire is Leo, Sag, and Aries. So that's a choice of five possible signs that could be coming towards you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or Libra or Taurus. Wow, so I feel like I may be reading for a large group here with all these different possible signs that may be coming towards you. All right, so let's look at this person, this incoming person coming towards Virgo, incoming person for Virgo singles, Virgo singles. Virgo singles. It's been storming here. It's actually Halloween night right now, so happy Halloween, <laughs> even though you'll see this after Halloween. And I do live in the Northeast, and there's a very high wind advisory right now, so I'm praying the power doesn't go out. It's flickered really bad a few times prior to me coming on recording, so hopefully the power doesn't go out. All right, so Virgo. Virgo. Who is this person coming towards Virgo? Okay, so we have transformation here. And I do believe this is the death card. So this may be somebody um, that doesn't mean anything evil or anything like this. I feel like this is somebody who maybe has been through a lot of things in their life, but they were able to transform out of those situations. I feel like they may, may have had to end some things in their life, whether it was a relationship, a person, place, a thing, an addiction, or something like that. I feel like this is somebody who um, has gone through something, maybe even major, or it could be a lot of little things, but they did the work they needed to do to end the things no longer serving them and able to transform out of that energy and become a better person, like learning all those lessons that were um, in that transformation for them to learn. So I feel like this is someone who's been through a lot, but they've learned a lot of lessons and they keep moving forward. Or they could have just came out of something major, something big, and now they're starting a new life for themselves also. And I don't think it's, I think it may be somebody too that's not afraid of change either to end knowing when something is something, someone or whatever is bad for them knowing when they need to end things and move on to uh, new things. So it's kind of a good energy. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's see like when, what time frame of year. Okay, so we have pentacle energy here. So this could be fall. So we're in fall right now. We just came into fall. I'm getting like the third month of fall, which would be December. So you may actually meet them um, in December. Like end of November into December. 
possibly. But this is fall time. Pentacle is fall energy. So that's fall. All right. So let's see like where you could meet this person. Virgo, where could Virgo meet this incoming person? Okay. So you could be at the horse races or something, or you could be at a zoo. You could be at a farm. As you see the horse here. So um, something around animals, particularly horses, maybe. Uh, if you ride horses, maybe you meet this, maybe they're riding also, or maybe, you know, you're at a zoo, you're at a farm, somewhere where there's animals involved, particularly horses, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, but horse, Sagittarius is half man, half horse, or is it the centaur? So this could represent a Sagittarius also. But, um, and you see, like, um, I don't know why I just got Kentucky, Kentucky Derby, but that doesn't happen in December. So, um, yeah, I just feel, uh, I'm feeling like races or a racetrack or, and maybe it's not even real horses. It could be like at a casino where it's like a fake horse race or something. I don't know. But something surrounding animals of some kind or something like that. Hmm. I don't know where you would be in December, where there would be animals, unless you're going on a sleigh ride. Maybe you're on a horse-covered wagon or going on like a winter horse ride or something like that. That could be it too. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, so where? Well, we got the where, but how? How will you meet this person moving on? So I feel like, yeah, moving on. So I feel like maybe it's like a large because uh, you have moving. So, you know, you're in a horse-drawn carriage and it's moving. So and maybe it's like a large one where you can fit several people. Maybe there's several horses pulling. and Or it could be like a hay ride. I don't know, something like that. And maybe you are sharing uh, the ride here because it says moving on here. So you could be sharing the ride and you just happen to meet this person. Hmm. Could even be like at a outdoor holiday bazaar festival where they have like the horse drawn wagons and stuff like that and maybe you know they could fit several people on there and maybe you meet this person you know maybe it's someone that you've never seen before from maybe they're coming to visit from another town uh, i'm getting that kind of energy too so maybe they not they don't even live in your town and they just come to the fest festival from another town and you're like gee i never saw this person before all right, so if you say you date this person or whatever here, what kind of connection will it be? What kind of connection will it be? What kind of connection will it be for you, Virgo? What kind of connection? Wow, right, that one just bent in my hand, so I think we're going to take this one focus. So I think you'll be very focused on one another here. And I got this for, it wasn't this deck, but it was another deck I used for another sign where I got focused, focus on that too. So I forgot what sign that was, but focus here and you see the heart all lit up there. Wow. So I think you can be very, very focused on each other, very focused on each other, getting to know one another, having conversations, I think it's going to like bloom quickly like into love, I think. Because you have triumph, triumph here that's successful. I think it's going to move forward very quickly. Uh, it's going to be very rewarding for the two of you. may even transform the two of you. I see being very, very focused on one another. Wow. Okay. So let's get your advice. Let's get your advice, Virgo. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice for this connection. What's the advice for Virgo singles? This incoming person. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have a father's love, a father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can ha be tapped into 
into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So I think this is telling you that um, if you've had a father, a father figure or something like that, who always gave you really, really good advice in relationships, I think um, your advice is to think back on that advice for this uh, connection. Or if your uh, father is still living or a parent or a um, older mentor or wise person, um, don't be afraid to seek out advice about this connection if you feel like you need to. All right, so let's clarify. Let's pull some tarot on this. Virgo. Let's pull some tarot for Virgo singles. Let's do one more shuffle. Virgo singles. All right, what do we have for Virgo singles, this incoming person? What else do you have to tell us? Okay, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so that's so funny because this here and this here is the same card. And we got the Seven of Wands. So you have the Six of Swords that's uh, going in a better direction, things moving forward in a better direction, a more healing, balanced place. So that's a good energy. And then you got Seven of Wands here. So this is an energy of being, you know, defensive on guard, standing your ground, that kind of energy. So fire energy here, which clarifies the fire here. You may be uh, a little defensive against this person at first. I think they have well intentions, but you may be a little defensive for some reason or on guard about this person. And then you have the Eight of Cups energy here, which is which is an energy of walking away from something unfulfilling or walking to something more fulfilling. All right, so let's pull a couple more, see what's going on here. The High Priestess. So this is listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Sometimes this can be about secrets. Um, nobody really saying anything since the High Priestess keeps a lot of things to herself. Hmm. All right, so what's going on here? What's going on here? So maybe, you know, you may debate whether or not to, because you got moving in a, in a really good direction here with the Six of Swords, but then you're going to end up walking away. So I think you're going to be a little defensive towards them, like at first, like, gee, I don't know if I want to move forward with them or just walk away. And you may kind of keep them at bay for a while and you may not say anything to them. Um while you decide while you decide what you're going to do about this um but this is asking you to really listen to your gut and your intuition about this connection um the moon yeah so again the moon again about intuition not seeing things clearly can also be about secrets but doesn't have to be but everything comes to light you know when the sun comes out i think you're really going to kind of like block them maybe at first and be like, nah, I don't know, you know, and you may consider their offer or something or moving forward with this and you're going to try to decide what do I want to do? Do I want to just walk away? Do I want to move forward with them? But again, with the moon and the high priestess, two energies of not really saying anything, like keeping to yourself and not really uh, talking to them and telling them what's going on. Uh, but the moon and the high priest, it's all about intuition, listening to your intuition. Nine of Wands. So this is the wounded warrior. Um, and it could be this person's energy because they do have transformation over here. So this is, I feel, as someone who could be in a Nine of Wands energy who has been through a lot of struggles, but they always seem to transform out of those struggles and become a better person or all, all the much wiser for it. So I feel like that's their energy. What else? What, what will you decide to do here? So there's passionate communication, um, texting, communicating back and forth, either you know either online, texting, email, face to face, very fast, pas uh, passionate travel, action, communication. So you know you could 
debate it here and then decide, you know, okay, maybe they look a little rough around the edges because of everything they've been through. But I think they have good intentions. And I think they're going to try to communicate with you often, like, you know, to try to sway you to see them or something like that. And I don't mean that, like, in a bad way. I think they're just really going to like you. And you may, may be a little hesitant and not sure what to do. All right, so what else? The King of Wands. So there's that fire energy over here. So this person, you know, very strong. Um, go get her kind of energy. I think they're really going to go after you. <laughs> and I don't mean like that in a bad way, but I think they're going to really be attracted to you. They're really going to like you. I think they're going to pursue you with the Eight of Wands here and the King of Wands. The King of Wands, a go getter, they go after what they want. A lot of drive, ambition, um, and passion. They're very successful. So, I don't know. See what would what would happen if you. So I think yeah, they're gonna pursue you, and they may look a little rough around the edges, and you're gonna be indecisive here with the moon and the high priestess, but you're not really gonna say much to them about what you're deciding. I think you just kind of keep them at bay because you've got two energies here. Of these are two separate, different energies of moving forward together or walking away, and you're like. You don't know what to do. So what else for Virgo? Seven of Swords. So this is kind of an energy like sneaking away, like being kind of de deceitful and sneaky and, you know, just kind of sneaking away. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to try to avoid them. Like this is kind of like avoidance, this kind of energy, like being kind of not sneaky, but I feel like you're just going to like block them and avoid them while you try to make up your mind here. So what else? Um, but I do see energy here being really focused. I think they're going to be really focused on you. Maybe you more on you more so than you on them. But I can see this be a very successful connection. Oh. So what else? Do we have for Virgo? What else? Can we get one more? Now we got the King of Swords. So now we have air energy. So this is, you know, very... Um, so not only do they have fire, now they have air. So that's, you know, very truthful, open, honest. Again, communication, communication kind of energy. So I feel, I feel like it's up to you. You're going to be kind of indecisive. And uh, you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to give this person a shot or not. So should Virgo give this person a shot? I think they're going to be, you know, maybe a little rough around the edges, like I said. Um, and you're going to be unsure. But they're coming across as two kings here. So, well, we got the devil energy. So this could be toxic energy. It can be... Um, or very strong, strong sexual connection or deep bond or something like that. Um, oh, I don't know why is the devil here. Why is the devil here for Virgo? The Page of Swords. So, yeah, I think you you may you may end up. I think you're gonna feel like. You know, they've just been through so, so many bad things here or so many things that for some reason you're not going to like that energy, even though they may be a good person deep down. I think it's just if they tell you what the struggles they've been through or whatever here, if they've had addictions or something like that. I mean, the Page of Swords here, I mean, it's about maybe you'll do some research on them um, online or something like that, you know, like checking out their Facebook, trying to find out more information about them, but... This can also be clear-cut communication with the page or using that sword there to cut away things no longer serving. So I see it's going to be up to you, uh, but you may decide not to give this person a chance, even though they really, I think they're really, really going to like you and they're going to want to move forward with you. They see success with you. But I think you're just going to be too taken aback by whatever things they've been through here. So... Um, I don't know. So I don't know. Let's see. Will Virgo give this person a chance or are they going to cut them out? 
Let's see if we get one more card from Virgo. Well, here's the Page of Cups. So this, you know, we could just be an apology. Say, look, I'm sorry. Because you got the two page, the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups. So you may say, look, I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. I just, whatever your situation is, I just don't, uh, it's not going to work for me or something like that. Or it could be you deciding to, you know, offer them not love, but hey, okay, you know, let's give it a shot. Or just, hey, I'm sorry, I'm using this sword, this isn't going to work for me. So I see it's totally up to you. But we do have Nine of Cups here. So they could be, you know, maybe maybe they were um, a drinker or something like that. Maybe they're sober now, but maybe you just don't like that energy. Yeah, the strength here overcomes anything. So I feel like they've overcome whatever toxic energy they were in. But for some reason, that's just not going to work for you. Because we got the Five of Pentacles of leaving this person out in the cold, which could be a potential soulmate. But I think, yeah, Four of Pentacles, you're probably going to hold back from this person. Oh, Virgo. Okay, well, I still have an energy that it's going to be totally up to you. But... I don't know. It's your decision here, what you want to do. I do see soulmate potential here, especially with the lovers here. But uh, they may have either too much baggage or too much they've gone through. Or maybe, you know, if they were, you know, an alcoholic or something like that, maybe they could be reformed. But you just don't like that energy for some reason. So I don't know, Virgo. Like I said, totally up to you. So Virgo, this was your singles reading for November uh, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Um, you get four readings a month. You'll get a singles reading who's coming towards you. Love connection reading for someone you have a some sort of connection with. Uh, a general tarot forecast reading. And messages from spirit, from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. If you're interested in all that and you like how I read, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So best of luck to you here, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.